Over the last four years, at Interpol, we've evolved uh, innovative border policing capabilities that have a global reach. Um, this week, we're in Jakarta, which uh, is one aspect of that global program. And particularly, we're working um, on behalf of the ASEAN Master Plan, which is trying to bring about interconnectivity and people-to-people -people exchange. A lot of our uh, seconded law enforcement officers come from this region, and we've been able to develop and, and cement um, uh, strong relationship ties, but also policing capability. So it's understandable that we've become and developed as a strategic partner for ASEAN over the past couple of years. And having led and supported the uh, EU ASEAN migration and border program in its first iteration, we're now at a position where they've come back to Interpol to then enhance upon the development work that we undertook in those early two years. And now we've got an ambitious three-year program, which is not only promoting um, our new capabilities into the region, building further sustainability, but more importantly as well, is looking at a, a research and an academic piece on open borders in the region, um, looking at some of the other uh, successful programs that have taken place, for example, like the Schengen regime back across the European region. And then there are other aspects as well that are growing both in the, the Gulf states and others looking at collaborative um, visa waiver programs.